Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about easy chicken tikka recipe. Chicken tikka recipe in this video. You know there are certain things which become so popular that there is not a right or wrong way doing it anymore. Chicken tikka is one of those things. Although I have a huge disagreement with the people who make chicken tikka masala in west it doesn't have cream people but there's a debate for some other day so chicken tikka is one of those extremely popular south asian cuisines that have made a place all around the world and unless you have been living on deserted island and I bet you have definitely tried tikka at least once. Just like biryani, burger and omelette. This one has a million different versions on internet. And I am about to share one more. Traditionally speaking, chicken tikka is made by preparing chicken pieces in a spicy marinade and grilling them on the top of red hot coals it is mostly served with a spicy mint chutney or tremint chutney along with some lemon and sliced onions so many variations of this popular dish have popped up ever since there is a boneless version a biryani version a curry version even a fried version but today i thought before i talk about any of fusion recipe let's cover the basic spices to make chicken tikka there are spice mixes not available to use to make tikkas but i prefer the aroma of fresh spices and sometimes you wanna feel like a real chef am i right here i am showing you the pictures of the all things all you need to cook up the delicious and i am diving right into the steps now so preparing the chicken tikka marinade So the above pictures depicts pretty much all of the things you need to marinate your chicken. All one of the small bowl that look empty actually has salt in it and we just know FYE stuff. The color of chicken tikka is usually due to an addition of orange red color. Some restaurants go very heavy hundred with the color and I personally don't like my hand to turn orange while I am eating. So it's a personal preference of how much color you want to add. I like to add just enough to give a reddish hue but not go over the top really. Use good quality color to do this. Some people use beetroot juice to give a natural color i have not tried this as yet if you have let me know how that work out for you thank you so much for watching